Hello guys, Ivan here and welcome to a new video. So today we will check out this amazing AMG GT 63S 4-door coupe and this is the special edition. And today we are at AMG Performance Center in Bratislava Lamac. Thanks for having us here today. And in this video we will check out the exterior interior sound and also the infotainment system. start with the exterior so this car as you can see has this beautiful paint which is a green satin finish green magno and this was originally introduced on the GTR and now we have it on different models on the G-Class and also here on the GT four door so here is a spec sheet of this car 2900 kilometers and here is a price I think this paint suits this car quite a lot it looks really, really, I would say, stunning. Uh, usually I'm not a big fan of the green colors, but this one has a special hue to it and special shade. So on its own it has a really special and luxurious design. So this one is also the special edition, so you can see the Green Hell Magno. And also we have a Night Package 1, Night Package 2. So Night Package 1 darkens the window trim and also window trim and also the mirrors and night package 2 darkens the front grille AMG specific grille this one is in dark chrome and this one I believe is blacked out by the tuning company not from the factory also the Mercedes star and you can see that we have an aero package here as well with the fixed wing at the back which we will check out as well and also the door handles are blacked out by the wrapping company, I believe. This is not possible from the factory. Also, we have here the badges. They are in dark chrome, so Night Package 2 darkens with the dark chrome. So it's not black, it has a dark chrome finish. And also formatic plus, plus with the red. And also this cosmetic went is in gloss black. So let's check out the wheels. These are the aero style wheels. You can see these aero like flicks. And these are in matte black, these wheels with AMG logo in black on the silver like background and silver outer rim around the edge of the wheel as well. These are Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. And the tire size here is 275, 35, 21 inch. And we can check out the rears. The rears are 315, 30, 21. So wider at the rear for better traction. Also check out here the stripe. With AMG stripe looks absolutely fantastic. And we can now check out the silhouette of the GT4 door. Which is really stunning in my opinion. Check out how the roof is sloping down. And yeah, looks very, very cool on its own. Also has a long front bonnet. And the side skirt is also in gloss black. And on the left side, we can see here the AMG logo in chrome, dark chrome. Also the Mercedes logo in dark chrome, as well as the GT63S in dark chrome with the black, matte black background under the S. And the lights have also like a little bit of a black tint on the inside. And these are these flicks are also part of the aero package, as well as the blade, which is underneath the diffuser, part of the aero package as well. And four squared exhaust pipes. The car looks really amazing with its aero package and with its fixed wing. I think this is a must have on the GT4 door. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, if you don't have the fixed wing, then you have adjustable wing. I think this one suits the character of the car a little bit more. But with the adjustable, you can adjust it how you want. Here you can adjust adjust uh, angle of attack, but manually. As you can see, you can you can do this, but manually. So very very cool. These are pretty large actually. 
with MG logo engraved in there as well. So really amazing and stunning design for the GT4 door. All right, and here is the fuel tank. So into press and it will open. And here we can see that we should use the best possible octane, 98 or more at the pump. And also we can see the top speed here, 315 kilometers per hour, electronically limited. So this car is really, really fast. 196 miles per hour. All right, guys, so let's check out the engine bay. So let's open the hood and check out this power plant. So here we have the handcrafted 4.0 liter V8 by Turbo. Here is a signature of a person which handcrafted this particular engine in Falterbach, Germany, home of AMG, the headquarters. And this one develops 639 horsepower and 900 newton meters of torque. The acceleration from 0 to 100 km per hour or 62 miles per hour happens only in 3.2 seconds and the top speed is electronically limited to 315 km per hour or 196 miles per hour and the engine is mated to MCT Speedshift 9G so multi-clutch transmission, 9 gears and this is very very cool setup this is non-hybrid version so this is the second most powerful GT4 door the most powerful is the e-performance you can also see here the heat shield and south deadening very very nice the engine space and the engine looks absolutely fantastic we have also two turbochargers on the top of the cylinder banks so called the hot V setup and now we can close the hood This is also the all new facelift model. You can see it with the front bumper, which has these more sharp openings, and they have more sharp design, as well as the whole A wing is more sharp and much more aggressive for the facelift model. And here is the key fob to the vehicle AMG key fob with a Falterbach crest in the back. All right, so now let's check out the interior. First, what you will see here is the, we have the black Nappa leather with yellow stitching, which is uh, usually the case with the top models, with the AMG. Entry models have a uh, red stitching. And here we have the matte carbon fiber uh, trim, really, really cool. And also Burmester surround sound system, full memory seats, heated, ventilated seats, and some nice door packets as well. You can open the tailgate here with the button as well. And as you can see here, the AMG logos are in green. So looking absolutely fantastic matching with the paint. So let's hop inside. So these are soft close. So let's close the doors. And frameless doors as well. And this is how the front looks from the back. Very nice layout in my opinion. I really like the GT4 door interior. All right, so here we can see this amazing interior and it's very nicely, the layout is very nice uh, in terms of the, where you can see the screens, etc. This very nice panel in the middle, which should reminiscent the panel from the GT2 door with these small displays as well. And here we have the switches for the driving modes. So the first one is the slippery mode. You can see it also here. Then we have individual, comfort, sport, sport plus, and the race mode. So you have many, many different modes. And also you can open and close the exhaust valves. And also you have here the start stop button, which you can change. And if you press on the display, then you can change what is uh, on the display and you can change the settings. Here also you can, for example, turn on the 360 cameras and you have many many options which you can change with this and here we have controls for the distorting system so uh, automatic cruise control 
and volume and home button here as well. Here in the middle is touchpad, here we have some shortcuts uh, like the cameras, telephone, map, favorites, etc. And then we have here the hidden compartment with cup holders and here we have the 12 volt socket as well as we have uh, two USB-C ports and if you close it you can see it's very nicely tucked away here is the panel for the AC so here we can see the badge and it is a special edition so this indicates that this one is a special edition and this one is the all new for the facelift all new MVUX system where you can change how everything looks here in the styles and displays you can go for like a sport mode or the classic mode for example let me know in the comments which one is your favorite for me definitely the super sport is my favorite out of these and yeah i just want to show you the interior of this car this special edition the vents we know them very well they are very nice inspired by the aviation clicky i just need to turn them because of the microphone when I'm recording but they look really stunning like this so very very nice in terms of the design and the displays are covered here with this like a small top of the dashboard so very very nice uh, how they implemented this with the screens and here we have the seats these are the comfort seats you can also get the performance seats but these are more comfortable also we can see the Falterbach crest here uh, so that's very cool so this is the titan gray pearl and this one is the black napa leather very nice two-tone leather also here with the amg logo just a beautiful design and check out we have also sunroof here so you can open it just like this two section sunroof this one is not possible to open but at least it's possible to hide from the sunshine or allow the sunshine to come into the cabin now it's uh, much more bright as you can see here very nice so yeah let me know how do you like this in terms of the interior design also in terms of the ambient lighting you can see here that we are currently on the green color so you can change this however you want here during uh, daylight the most visible is this blue and in terms of the brightness 100% so you can see here now more also here so much better visibility of the ambient lighting with this blue color all right so in the AMG performance you have the integration of the AMG functions for example the vehicle then you can change in the vehicle what is shown the suspension you can do full screen and also turning in terms of the angles you can see here then in performance we have the engine here you can see the engine output engine torque engine oil temperature and transmission oil temperature then we have the consumption and dynamic select for the driving modes track pace telemetry comfort radio navigation phone and apps store settings all right so now it's time to check out the rear seats you can see that we have here the two seat configuration you can also get the five seat but here in this case we have the more exclusive two seat so let's hop inside and yeah in the gt4 door is not a super spacious car you need to expect this so we have soft close for the doors so check out here in the back how much room do i have here not that much actually so you can see a few centimeters like i would say we can say this is about two inches maximum depending how you sit usually i sit like this re relaxed so then you have a uh, more space is not that bad but yeah it's not like uh, s class or anything like that this is a performance car so uh, personally I, I quite like this kind of uh, sitting position because uh, it, it gives me special feeling of um, like a race car feeling also here we have this very comfortable middle armrest same actually as in the front and 
very nice Falterbach crest in the middle between the seats. The seats have the uh, same styling as the front ones and they are also, they have as you can see here bolsters so pretty aggressive seats also here with the also here with the AMG logo so you can see it here as well and two-tone as well so very very cool and here in the middle we have the compartment so this is for the cup holders they are adjustable as well and then they can be cooled or heated so very luxurious features and here if you tap this should wake up the screen okay so here we can see that uh, we can see here the small tablet it's not possible to take out it's like built in here and you can change here the language so we can do it now so first you can see the vehicle data same as in the front basically then we have vehicle data dynamic data So you can scroll between these. So engine data, vehicle data, dynamic data, and it goes in the circles. And then we have vehicle settings. So here you can see and change ambient lighting, for example, multicolor effects, brightness, etc. And then we have media, so you can change that as well. This is for the volume, okay? So you can change the volume as well. And you have perfume diffuser here and settings for the AC. So you can change this as well, which is pretty cool. This is perfume diffuser, medium, high or low, or you can turn it off. And here we have the air vents, which you can change and close or open. All right, so let's open the boot so we can check it out. So here you can see the boot space and on the screen you can check out the liters and cubic feet, how large it is. And you can see also here, very practical, this net. So you can fix the cargo. So that's very, very cool as well. And you can fold the seats here with the buttons. And you can see the subwoofer here in the boot as well. And we can close it with the button, electronically and automatically. Well, I guess so that's it for this video. Let me know how you like this GT63S in the comment section down below. And I will see you soon in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.